Hello guys and welcome to this video. Today we gonna implement the aircraft pitch controller using the cascade architecture. The idea of the cascade architecture is, to have an inner loop controlling the pitch rate and an outer loop controlling the pitch angle itself. X-Plane data provides only the pitch angle, so the pitch rate has to be calculated in the same way we did in our PID controller. The only modification we need to bring to our controller is, the calculation of the elevator's deflection as per the shown equation. In MATLAB, we calculate the elevator's deflection as shown. In general, the cascade architecture provides the following advantages. A faster inner loop can respond more quickly to disturbances than the outer loop. Therefore, it reduces the severity of disturbances and limits variability that would affect the process. The inner loop is both faster than the outer loop and closer to the source of the disturbance. This allows for a quicker correction of upsets in the process. Design engineers can tune the outer loop for a steadier control. The inner loop makes coarse adjustments, leaving the outer loop as the only option for fine tuning. Let's see how the cascade controller performs on our pitch controller. In our case, the cascade controller presents the following advantages. It provides only two tuning parameters PD instead of PID without compromising the performance. Which make it simple to tune. It eliminates the need of integral gain and associated issues like error windup. Windup is when the integral of the error accumulates, for example when the aircraft is powered on the ground. And when the aircraft is flying. This results in the controller output being too big. Typically wind up is mitigated using dead bands, which is disabling integral part of the PID in particular cases. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on this channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them on the comments. See you in the next video.